Okay, so this is the external of the lamprey. Here we have gill slits, they're little holes in the side. We have the mouth right there, and we have little stringy things. Those are the buccal papillae and little teeth inside that helps create suction towards the shark or whatever it's eating on. And inside there you can see a little bit of a tongue with teeth on it, and that helps create the wound so that it could suck out all the juices. And back here we have a dorsal fin, a caudal fin, and then its tail. On the bottom we have its anus right there, and its... The cloaca is the bottom one. Okay. The smaller, the bigger slit around it is the cloaca, and the smaller one, the little dot in the middle, is the anus. Okay, and we have a post-anal muscular tail. Yeah, the seven. So as far as the digestive system goes in a lamprey, it's pretty simple. We have the mouth here, which leads into a pharynx, which splits off into two tubes. We have the respiratory tube that leads into the gills, and then we have the esophagus that runs on top of the gills, and right about where the heart is, it turns into the intestine, which runs the length of the body. There is no stomach, it does not need to store food. And the intestine turns into the cloaca around here, which gives the intestine more surface area and exits out the anus right there. There's also a liver right here, which runs also behind all these eggs right here. And when the lamprey is in larva stage, it does have a gallbladder, but once it goes through metamorphosis, it disappears. All right, guys. So for the reproductive system of a lamprey, we start off at the cloaca, which is found right there, next to the anus. They're both found in that same area. And we go on the inside of it, and we see these right here are all the eggs of the female. The gonads in the male will be found right around here above the intestine, and the eggs actually make up 65% of the abdominal ca cavity of a female. And when they give birth, they die right after. Okay, so for the nervous system of a lamprey, we have the brain, which starts right there. It's really tiny. It's just a little bulb. And then we have the spinal cord, which is continuous with the brain that runs on top of this nodo cord right here and underneath the skin. And one thing that's specific to lampreys is that the nerves that branch off of the spinal cord come off in alternating pairs, whereas all other organisms come off in pairs with each other. Now there are a couple sensory organs. We have the eyes right there. And we also have an olfactory gland, which adds a sense of smell to the lamprey. And it's right there. It's this little black thing. You ready? Mm -hmm. So the digestive system, the excretory system, of a lamprey consists of a kidney which is found flattened right here against the wall. You can kind of see it's this black part. It runs to this part and then it goes in here right under the nautical cord. You can see right here a little bit blacker. And this carries urine all the way through to the cloaca, which is back here, through the urogenital papalia, which then will excrete the urine through. The cloaca, which is back here. You see how it kind of runs over here? It runs all the way down to it. You can see it more as I open it right here. There we go. Going on to the respiratory system of a lamprey, as you can see here, this very small part right here is the vellum, which keeps any type of food from going into the respiratory tube, which is this right here. You can see as it leads into what is seen over here to be the internal gill slits. These gill slits lead to the outside right about here which is the external gill slits. These gill slits on the inside are attached, are piercing into the respiratory tube, feeding in the oxygen and taking out the carbon dioxide. 
All right, guys, so for the circulatory system of a lamp array, this is gonna be the heart right here. On this right side, this is gonna be the atrium. And this is gonna be the ventricle. And as you can see over here on our plastic handy dandy scale thing, this is gonna be the atrium right here. And the blood is gonna go into the atrium and then it's gonna go through the ventricle and it's gonna go right back out. And then as you can see over here, shall I like this because it's gonna be feeding the gills right here. This is gonna, the blood that leaves the ventricle will be feeding the gills and it will be deoxygenated. And then it'll run from the gills to the body all the way around and then it'll go right back here to these veins and it'll feed right back into the atrium and when it comes into the atrium it's going to be deoxygenated so it's one of the only organisms that we have on our dissections that's going to go into the heart deoxygenated so we have a nautic cord that um, goes through the whole body you can see it right here it's this cartilage a skeletal rod that supports the body so for the integumentary system, we have counter shading. You can see how it's dark on the top of it, and then you see flip it over and look at the bottom, it's light. So when you're looking down at this, you're gonna see the dark side of the body, which is gonna blend in with the dark bottom of the sea. But if you were to look up at it um, in the daylight and everything, that you can see that the, the bottom of the uh, lamprey will blend in with the sun.